Hi there, welcome to Loopy Mabel's Closet. My name is Jane. Today's vlog is my next in the series of the Saw the Look, which I'm wearing. Thought I'd share with you what inspired me and what I've made to kind of create that image that I liked. So stay tuned. <music> Welcome back and if you've just found my little channel, my little corner of the sewing world, it certainly is a learning journey that's for sure, then please don't forget to subscribe and you can follow along with all my sewing shenanigans shall we say. So yes today's vlog as I said in the intro is my latest in the sew the look which I'm wearing. I'm absolutely thrilled with it, mind you I say that with everything I make just about uh, but I really am thrilled with this and um, so excited to share it with you. I'll pop a picture up of what inspired me. Obviously my saw the looks are a theme of the pictures that inspire me. I don't really want to copy completely, I may well do, um, but I, s I certainly like the inspiration or maybe some of the details or just the look and sort of seeing if I can create something similar. Uh, this one is a similar one. Anyway, I'll pop the picture up of what inspired me. So she is wearing beautiful blue. It was the blue that really caught my eye because I don't have an awful lot of blue in my wardrobe. And I really like that blue and I loved all the lace and the frills and the flounce. And if you do follow me, you do know I love a bit of a frill and a flounce as well as floral. Uh, so that really did uh, catch my eye. And she's kind of dressed down with some linen, cream linen pants which I just really liked the look and I thought it was a really nice casual but dressed up kind of casual look which I which I thought was really nice to have in my wardrobe. So I really just liked the whole look and I thought I haven't got any linen pants and I've just got a lovely selection of linen fabrics which I shall do, a, um, I'll do a vlog and show you all my linens before I chop them all up. I've got some really pretty linens. I've got some lightweight and some medium weight linens and I haven't shared them with you so I shall do a little vlog for you. Now these two linens that I used aren't 100% linens. They are the viscose linens that I did in my Stoff and Still vlog. These are the two I got and I thought well I'll try these out, see what they were like to make garments with and obviously share them, share what I thought with you and also to see if I could actually get what I wanted in this sort of look out of these fabrics. Now I only got one and a half meters of both these fabrics and I managed to get obviously both of my garments out of them. So what have I used? Which patterns have I used? So we'll start off with this gorgeous top. So for the top I went for the Phoebe Flounce which is a pattern by Pattern Union which is owned and run by the lovely Sarah and her company, she's based in Australia. And I did the Cora blouse pattern test for Sarah a few a couple of months ago now. And her patterns are just, the way she has them set out and her instructions are just, just genius. I was, I was talking to her and I just said, oh, um, I'd love to make some of you, more of your patterns and vlog about them. So she said, I'll send you a couple. So she sent me the Phoebe flounce, that was one of them. And I just thought it just had the look of that blue blouse that I saw as my inspiration. So the Phoebe flounce is part of the Phoebe collection which Sarah has and it's just full of different options. It's just amazing really. So you can go for the Phoebe the Phoebe with flounce with elastic waist. You can go with it with elastic waist without the flounce. You can go with it with the waistband and not, not no elastic in the casing at the bottom. And you can then obviously add it to her other patterns in the Phoebe collection. So you could add the top to the Phoebe airline skirt. And then you could add it to the peasant skirt. Or you can even add it to the trousers, the Phoebe pockets. So, I mean, with all, I mean, I'll just love a pattern that has so many different combinations. Because, like I say, Sarah just absolutely wants you to just go and create, use her patterns as a foundation. And she really does encourage you to add your flair to it, which is great. So, I went with a full on flounce. And in the pattern instructions, you can do a, a rolled hem. So I thought, oh, I'll do a rolled hem on my overlocker. Well, 
an hour later trying to fathom out how to do a rolled hem on my overlocker I was doing something wrong because I just kept getting it too loopy all the time and I followed the instructions in the manual just have one needle threaded and you know all the settings but it just kept creating this loop so I started off on a piece of scrap fabric literally that big doing the rolled hem and I ended up with a piece about that that wide literally I'd tried it so many times an hour later and I just thought and then I thought maybe you're supposed to take that needle out that you know you're not using because I hadn't took the needle out I just took the thread out of that left needle sure enough it was that needle because even though there was no, it wasn't threaded, that left side needle, as the overlocker was doing its rolled hem stitch or whatever, it was also catching, going around that needle that was still there and it was causing that loop. Oh. So fathomed it out and I overlocked the edges of the flounce. But because I'd been testing my overlock and I was using white, I forgot to change the thread. So I overlocked the first flounce and realised it was in white I just did not like the look. I'll show you. This is the bit I cut off. I've kept the bits that I cut off just to show you. So it was like white, and I just just didn't like just didn't like the white on the edge. And I thought, well, I, I could either trim it all off and do it on the blue. And then I thought, oh, I wonder if I just add a little bit of lace to the edge just to pick out the cream in the linen pants. That I'm going to show you in a second. So I've got quite a lot of lace in my haberdashery section in my shop and I thought this would be the perfect, the perfect choice. Cotton crochet lace which has got a lovely edge to it which I just applied to the edge of the flounce. So I overlocked the flounce first and then I top stitched that crochet lace trim on the flounce and I think it's really pretty, I really like it. It just brings out the cream in my linen pants. Um, before let's just see so the size I did for the Phoebe I did size 12 and she has measurements goes from size 6 all the way up to size 20 which starts off at a 32 and a half inch bust all the way up to a 46 and a half inch bust so plenty of sizes and you can do it in all sorts of fabrics as I say I've done mine in this linen viscose blend but it, she, she recommend linen tensile crepe rayon cotton satin cheesecloth anything really and she said obviously the drape will affect the shape of what you make so you've got to consider obviously the fabrics that you use i think a nice chambray would look nice too and as sarah's instructions are absolutely spot on she takes you through every stage step by step she holds your hands through it all and not only does she give you really thorough instructions she also gives you the option at the bottom of the instructions if you just want to whiz through the instructions and you don't need all the diagrams and you just want to whiz through and just read and then do it so you've got the options of full step by step and then you've also got the options of not so much and just straightforward instructions and just so you can whiz through. So that's really good. So if you're, you know, if you're quite an advanced sewer and you don't need to be taken through it, you know, hold your hand to take you through the stages of making it. You've got both options. And the way it's put together, just genius. I, 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 just genius. I just Everything is neat and tidy. Everything's encased or obviously overlocked. I didn't make... The bias binding for the neckline i used a pretty bias binding again out of my haberdashery shop and i just used that pretty floral bias binding i've got quite a few of those and i just thought that would be perfect so it's just edged there and again on the the armhole obviously there's two lengths as well so you can use um, a high waisted or a low waisted i just went for the low waisted for this one just to see how low it would fit on me I was toying it on changing it halfway through to the high waist, but I thought I'll just stick with the low waist. And for the low waist, it takes five ruler loops, or for the high waist, it takes four ruler loops. So I made my ruler loop, and then obviously I had to turn it through with my turner, loop turner. Well, half an hour of pulling it through, because they are tiny, I've got a bit left of the ruler. Tiny, tiny. So that was a bit fiddly getting it through, but it was worth worth sticking with it. And I'll just stand up and show you a little bit more detail of, of the top so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So obviously I've got the five buttons and I just picked some cream buttons that were in my button tin and 
picks out obviously the cream in the lace and obviously the cream in my linen pants. And obviously you've got the bore detail. So that's a little bit better picture. So obviously I went for the elasticated waist. Now you can do like a a zigzag stitch all the way around the elastic casing don't think it's going to move at all that elastic it's just in, gone in there nicely one and a half inch wide elastic just lovely and i've got obviously my five buttons and you can see my little ruler loops and there's like a button placket behind the buttons just to finish off my microphone is just pulling it down a bit um and then you've got this lovely bow tie, which you don't have to have it tied in a bow. You can have it just casual like that, or you can even have it opened up and then showing off the pretty detail inside, whatever look you're looking for. And again, just these flounces really set off the blouse. And then you've got the detail at the back. Just love it, absolutely love it. And I just think it is such a pretty top, a really, really simple to make as well and yep yeah, really enjoyed it and i think this linen fabric has worked out really well with it as i say i had one and a half meters and there was i've got a little bit left so just perfect and i quite like the length of the, the flounce the original length of the flounce because it just covers my arms which aren't perfectly torn at the minute hoping there will be one day soon <laughs> uh, but yeah so I just love it I just love the elastic waist for a change I was toying with doing the open waist and I'll just show you a little bit more detail there you can see so I was toying with doing the open waist but then I thought well let's go with the elastic because I've never done anything elastic so that is the Phoebe flounce. Absolutely thrilled to bits with it. So moving on to my linen pants. Again, I'll stand up in a minute. I'll pop some pictures up of me wearing it in the garden. Um, the So moving on to my linen pants and I'll pop some pictures obviously of me wearing so you can see what I'm talking about. I chose the Eve trousers by Merchant and Mills. Now I've had this pattern for over a year probably and printed it off then never it never got anywhere beyond the printing stage and when I saw that inspiration picture I thought they would probably be just the perfect linen type of pant just a nice plain linen pant and I thought they would be perfect so I picked the Eve trouser and I'll show you the the drawing so two pockets at the back there's no pockets at the side and just a side zip and then you've got the option have just having a normal trouser leg or the turn up. So I did the turn up, but it's all part of the leg. So there's no extra pieces to add the turn up to. You just turn up the leg six centimeters and then stitch it. And then you turn the hem up again by four centimeters. And then I just stitched my hems and then you just stitch the hems either side just to anchor the hems. So there is the zip, which I not brilliant the zip again i need to master my zips i still haven't quite got that right there but it's fine no one's going to notice and i just picked a little button out i did size eight in these trousers and then you've got the pockets at the back simple as and that's as that's basically the eve pant really simple i made these trousers in under two hours really simple trouser to do yet yeah, just a dream to make saying that though adding the zip was easy peasy since I've changed from my normal foot my normal zipper foot to my lovely new narrow zipper foot that is a game changer because you don't have to worry about the zips getting in the way or anything like that it just slides past the zips slides past anything you want the zip the pull anything without anything getting in the way and that's an absolute game changer so if you do do a lot of trousers with zips and you have problems with putting your zip in with that one definitely recommend you get that narrow the narrow one i just got that off i think it was amazon i think i got it all in all absolutely thrilled to bits 
I wasn't sure whether this linen, this is only a lightweight linen, this linen viscose, I thought it might have been a little bit too light for the trousers, so I thought, well, I'll make them as a toile, also for the fit, and then if they were a little bit see-through or they didn't quite have the right drape, at least I knew they would fit me in the sizing. I did size 10 in these, and the fit just perfect. I just based it on the body measurements and just fit absolutely perfect. And I also thought they might be a little bit see-through because they are like the um, the light, the lightweight linen. I don't think you can see my floral undies through. So not too bad, but obviously if I do go out and about, I'll just make sure I wear some plain, plain undies underneath them. But they're absolutely fine. I saw I really do want to make some more of these because they're just a great linen pant. Obviously, you don't have to use linen. You could use um, lightweight denim or anything like linen weight. Be fine. Chambray, anything like that. And just a brilliant, brilliant pattern to follow again. Merchant and Mills. I saw I was pleasantly surprised. I thought, I don't know why. I just thought, oh, because it's going to be technical, really, because all it is, it's two front and a back and your waistband and a zip. That's it. Really simple. So that was the Eve Trousers by Merchant and Mills. So all in all, I'm really pleased with this month's saw the look. I think it's really pretty. And again, I can wear this bare arms, which I've got on today, or I could wear it with a nice cream long sleeve top underneath, or even a t-shirt, three quarter t-shirt might look nice if it's a little bit cooler. And I just love the movement of the flounce. I just think it's really pretty. So I'm really pleased with this month's saw the look and hope you like it too. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. And I'm hoping to inspire you to do exactly the same. If you see an outfit that you think, oh, that's gorgeous, I'd love to make that, do it. There's loads of patterns out there that you can pick and choose and you can maybe adapt to get the looks that you're looking for. Like I say, this is not the same as that blouse that I was inspired by, but it's very similar and it's got that vibe. So you don't have to be set in stone, it doesn't have to be exact or the exact replica. It's all about creating something and also you don't want to go and buy it in the shops when you can make it yourself. So yeah, I'm really pleased and uh, love this fabric, really nice fabric. This is the fabric that again I got from Stoff and Still, Linen Viscose, really good value for money as well, really good. And it's got the texture of linen and it irons lovely and it soars like a dream. I would definitely, definitely order some more of this. They had some beautiful colours as well. So I would highly recommend it. And I say it's a fairly lightweight linen, but it's made these pants and they're absolutely fine. And they had some beautiful, they have some lovely colours as well to choose from. So I would highly recommend if you've never bought from Stoff and Still, I'll put the link for them as well in the box below. So they've got some fabulous fabrics on there. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, thumbs up would be lovely. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and you want to follow along with me, that'd be really nice. I've got lots more blog uh, makes to come and I will share with you my linen fabrics too, just to give you an idea of what I was talking about. I've got medium weight and I've got lightweight and I'll share in the vlog, it's coming soon. And I've got lots of other sewing coming too. So until the next time, thanks for joining me today. Let me know what you think of my outfit in the box below and um, please take a look at Sarah's fabulous patterns at Pattern Union, they're amazing, absolutely, absolutely amazing, I love them. Uh, but until the next time, thanks so much for joining me and I shall see you on my next sewing vlog. Bye for now.